Today's graphing calculator tutorial video will focus on some basic features of using the graphing calculator. So, the first thing we want to talk about is the difference between the minus and the negative button. So, let's say if you wanted to perform the operation 8 minus 9, and instead you use the negative button. The calculator will give you a syntax error, and you will always have the option to quit or to go back to the point at which the error was occurred. So, we can press go to and it will take us right to that symbol saying that that's not the correct button we want to use. So we instead want to use the minus sign. And now the calculator would give us the correct answer. The next option we want to look at is the difference between the delete button and the clear button. So sometimes we have fairly long operations that we want to perform and we realize there's one thing, one error that we made in typing. So what we can do is to use our arrow buttons and go back to one's particular space. So if I just want to delete this number then I can use the delete button. If I want to delete the entire line that's when we would use the clear button. So there's no need for you to have to type everything all the way over when you're using the clear button. You can just press delete for that certain feature you want to remove. The last feature we're going to talk about is how to repeat your line. So let's say you want to do this operation again for some reason. So what you want to do is to use your second button and then the enter button. And what that will do is duplicate the entire line that you just had previously. So, the second button works with other features as well. Anything that's located in blue above your button, the way you access those is with the second button. So, let's say if I wanted to take the square root that's right above my x squared button. So, I would have to press the second, then the x squared button. And that will give me the option that I want of the square root. 